Hi, uh, welcome to Fintera Headquarters Singapore. My name is Terry Wilkinson and I'm the director of Blockchain Solutions here. So the blockchain is still a young technology and is evolving quickly. As I had talked about before, um, it it has evolved from kind of blockchain 1.0 to blockchain 2.0 and that was from just databases to smart contracting um, but it's still evolving beyond that that being said it does have a lot of limitations currently because it is a young technology the ideas and the power of it is outpacing the actual technological capacity for it to to keep up and so I would say with regards to those limitations uh, scalability is a big problem in the blockchain these days. S scalability means that there are only a certain number of transactions that the network can support. So if you look at Bitcoin, for example, it only does seven transactions per second, which may sound quick. Uh, Ethereum does 15 transactions per second, um, and some other blockchains boast more, somewhere around a thousand or a couple thousand transactions per second. But when you put this in perspective of, of kind of other applications that are running in the world, so if you think about Visa or MasterCard, their kind of sustained average transaction level is around four to 5,000 transactions per second. Um, and they spike up to somewhere around 24,000 transactions per second. So seven transactions or 15 transactions per second is not gonna cut it. So scalability ends up being a problem because all of the computers that are helping support the network, they have to do all of the work every time. So when there's a transaction, every computer has to do all of the work and then they all have to agree that they did the work properly <laughs> before it gets committed to the blockchain, to the, data, to the, to the ledger. Yeah. I would say another problem in the blockchain space is usability. I compare the blockchain to the early internet, which is in the early days of the internet, nobody knew what it was except for the nerds and technical savvy, technically savvy, right? The sim similar case is happening for the blockchain right now. It's not user friendly. It's, uh, it has very low usability. Uh, there's not good documentation for developers and the code bases are kind of changing quickly. And so this makes it uh, very hard to adopt it as a technology for, for more traditional businesses. So I think that's a huge problem um, moving forward for, for blockchain as well. Flexibility is a problem and interoperability. So blockchain speaks well to itself, right? Its goal is to keep all of its own data consistent and, and make sure that, that everything is, is running properly and true on its own system. And this means that it has a very hard time talking to external systems because it has no way to verify that the external systems are acting truthfully or properly. Interoperating with external systems or even interoperating between two different blockchains is, is a very large hurdle right now. Also, flexibility is an issue. So blockchains, they run on a certain protocol. Uh, so there's a certain application that all of the computers run and whatever is coded into that application, that's what you have to use for your whatever product that you build on top of. So there's not a lot of flexibility in the kind of current protocols that are out there.